Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I am turning some tool steel. Um, I had previously used this in my forge, so I have a couple forge marks kind of turned down. Uh, but ultimately this is going to be an axle for some pillow block bearings that I'm making uh, to house a pulley over here. So right now um, I need to take a couple thousands off. So we are at 75 thousandths. I need to get it down to 63 thousandths. Um, I've already been working on it. Um, as you can see, um, finally, I got this machine kind of cutting pretty decent. Um, you know, if you watch my second video on cutting aluminum, um, I had made some adjust adjustments and modifications to this. <clears throat> finally got some decent cutting bits. Um, so yeah, it is, this is the first time I've ever cut steel on this uh, Vivo lathe. And um, it's not doing too bad, um, but we'll get started. I'll do some cuts, I'll get it down pretty close, we'll check it, and um, then I'll give you guys my feedback on it. All right, let's get started. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, guys, we're going to see, uh, let me see how much we've taken off. Target goal was 63 thousandths. Uh, my gauge is zeroed out, so we're going to check it. Um, looks like we're right on the money, 63 thousandths. Uh, it doesn't have to be exactly uh, on the money. Uh, I still got to mill out the, the keyway. Uh, for the, the pulley to go on. Um, overall, not too bad. This is the first time that I've cut any kind of steel. Uh, it's probably really only, I don't know, I maybe only used this lathe uh, you know, five or six times. I, I really haven't had a lot of time lately to mess with it. Um, I did, this is my third video on it. Um, this is the MXS 7116G model. Got it off Amazon uh, about two years ago. I, I, I didn't give it a good review right out of the box. Um, really, this thing out of the box is not user friendly unless you are a machinist and you don't mind modifying it to make it work. As you guys can see, um, I have made some chips with this tool steel. Um, took out quite a bit. Um, didn't do too bad. Um, if you got a good bit and you go slow, it will cut. Um, I did. Make sure everything is tight. There's, nothing is loose. Nothing is loose on it anymore. Like before, it was really sloppy. It gave me a terrible cut. Um, I ran this thing at, um, for this tool steel. And um, it just slowed down. Right around 700 RPMs. And just a very, very light cut. Um, but. Overall, um, still not super happy with it, but I'm making it work. But uh, y'all, it will cut tool steel with a good bit and lubrication and patience. Um, it will cut aluminum. And um, yeah, the, I, it's working. So uh, leave me some comments. I know you guys are gonna roast me. Um, didn't do this right, didn't do that right. Tool height, blah, 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 too fast, too slow, chatter. Uh, just give me some positive feedback. I know I'm not a machinist. I'm a hobbyist. I'm learning. I'm trying to do these videos for people who are trying to get into the game too. Um, it's not like I'm telling you guys how to cut it. I'm just showing you that it will cut. And this is what I'm working on. And uh, yeah, look forward to your comments, your feedback. Um, anyway, all right, guys. Uh, until next time. Thank you.